Hey everybody, before we get to this video started today, I wanna let you know that I am not a nutritionist. I am not a veterinarian. Um, I am just going by the facts, the nutritional facts from both foods, and also um, by people that are actually veterinarians and that are nutritionists. Um, I am not intentionally trying to hurt any animals. Um, I'm just going by what they say is okay and what that I personally can see with my own eyes um, on nutritional facts. So before we get started, I just want to let this disclaimer out there. Hey everyone, this is Chris at Zenork Reptiles. Um, on my way to uh, the store to pick up some rat supplies. Today I'm going to talk to you about, um, show you some of my secrets, how I save money um, breeding rats. Um, this is actually one of my biggest secrets, the tractor supply. Um, way cheaper than anywhere else. Because definitely at tractor supply, you get the biggest bang for your buck. Um, there's another place called Co-op here. It's actually a local place. I like buying from them, but it don't always happen because it's so much cheaper at Factor Supply. I also am going to show you um, some pig food. I've been trying pig food out for, for the last month on a certain rack, and I'll tell you if it's helped out a lot, if it hasn't, um, right after this. So I'm on my way to Tractor Supply. I'm gonna show you some of the things I buy there uh, to help you save money with your rats. Um, like I said before, I am trying out some uh, different rat food, pretty close to the same ingredients um, as the, the Missouri. So I'm trying it out, I'm not sure. So I'm just doing a controlled uh, experiment on some of my rats and seeing how it works out. Trying to get you the most uh, money that you can for your rats and still not treat them bad. I don't know if you guys have a tractor supply at your place, but I absolutely love this store. Uh, it's so much cheaper for a lot of things for my rat business. Um, definitely love this place. This right here is what I use. It's uh, Tractor Supply uh, Premium Pine Shavings. I went to their website. It actually is kiln dried. It says on the website and I've actually talked to the employees here. Um, it's very cheap um, so I'm not sure if you have a tractor supply um, they also have pellet bedding that I use in the summertime but as I'll show you in a second here they have another option that's cheaper in the winter time in the winter time I pick these up because they're a lot cheaper but they only happen in the winter time they actually sell the pellets by the pallet too and they save a lot more money um, I've done this once, just bought a whole pallet. It does save a lot more money. The problem is, is the space that you gotta keep them in. That's the only issue. When I get my own warehouse, um, I'll definitely do the pallets. I used to use this one right here. It's made here in Auburn, Washington. Um, it was pretty good, it had a lot of dust. And I did call the company up and it is kiln dried. Um, but I did switch to this, because it's half the price, um, very dry and actually my rats stopped sneezing with this because it's dust free um no dust at all it's amazing stuff okay um welcome to my my rat room here okay everyone so this is my rat rack that i try in the pig food on um i do have a little bit of leftover 6f in there these guys have been on um, pig food for the last month. You see it's just pig food. Um, the ones down here, I've been doing half and half. Um, well, more pig food, but I've been still putting Missouri in there on the one side. These two right here, um, I haven't. And so far I haven't seen any health changes. I got a couple I got pulled out of there. Um, I don't keep that many in there, but this I haven't, some I haven't sold yet. Um, so far, I haven't seen anything different. Um, they seem to be very healthy. They seem to be very um, breeding the same. I, I've kept a record of the ones, these two right here, and two other, just two uh, tubs, not the whole rack. Um, put some over here. We kind of try it out over here too, on this rack. 
just recently. You can see I just used a little bit of, you see right here, the little meshing um, to keep the, it in there. Um, but so far, I haven't noticed anything different. See the little, still, I'm still feeding a lot of them the 6F. Um, I haven't really switched out. Even my, my ASF rats, which is doing pretty good over here. They got some babies in there too. You can see them. Got quite a few baby ASF rats. Little fast little buggers. They are so much faster than the uh, <laughs> than the Norwegian rats. But yeah, so far I haven't noticed any difference. Um, could there be down the road? I, I actually I said I haven't switched it all over yet. I see the pig food here. I had to actually change the meshing, but so far, hey guys. Nothing's changed. Um, these guys, I just put a mail with them. I do have some over here that I put to pig food that have that have um, babies. Um, so far, you see that none of them look unhealthy with this food change. Hey guys. Um, you can see that I also have some paper in there. Uh, that's another thing we do here. We we uh, actually all our paper, we shred it and add it with the, I add it with the uh, the bedding, just to save money. We all our shred. Um, it was my daughter's idea actually, to recycle the paper by using. There's a melon here with these girls. Um, we use this to to. Uh, Recycle the paper So all bills and things that we shred actually goes in here works out pretty good So so far I Haven't told any different health wise um, breeding wise it's hard to tell because um, I haven't really uh, Seen any difference in the breeding. Um, they've been breeding the same so far um, but nothing uh, like I said, I haven't no definite yet because I haven't I haven't been off the 6F long enough. I have 10 racks that I've tried the pig food, and that's all I'm going to do right now. Let's go back upstairs. So, welcome back to my room. I'm trying to find the cheapest way to keep the rats without being abusive, without making them feel any any different. Um, the pig food thing is just an experiment. I have 10 racks down there, trying it out. Uh, two of them been out for a month and I haven't seen any changes they breed about the same um, I kept a notes from each one the one with the uh, 6f had about two more babies than those um, so so far haven't seen any difference that could be just coincidence um, but that's only a month uh, so far so now I turned over to 10 of them trying it out um, leave them for another month and the other ones for a month um, and if not I'll go back to the 6F, um, but that's just something I'm trying. Pig food is way cheaper than the Missouri. Here I pay $3 a bag. Um, if you can see the picture of the pig food, the pig food is about $16 a bag. And I looked online and they have pretty close to the same nutritional uh, value. Both are omnivores. Um, um, that's why you can't feed them rabbit food or guinea pig food because they need some um, protein and pig and uh, rats eat about the same amount of protein it's 15 percent protein um, same as rat food um, the one I've seen the closest is the pig and sow um, works really well so far they eat it about as fast as the Missouri um, I bought four bags for the price of two Missouri um, and it's worked out so far and um, I've tried lots of stuff, just tried it out. I tried the doggy bait dog food. Um, I suggest not trying that. I tried it on two different cages um, just for about two weeks and they ate tons of it, by the way. They ate so much more, they pooped a lot more, their poop stunk, um, but I didn't like it. I used that bag, dumped it in with a 6F and got rid of it completely. There's a few of them that actually still have it in their cages and they won't even eat it. So some of my secrets of keeping my rats cheap, tractor supply definitely uh, saves you lots of money. 
um, I get those um, bricks of pine for half the price anywhere else in town. Um, they're about five bucks and uh, they do a lot. They do, one will do about three quarters of my rack, three quarters of them, um, maybe a half. So I use about, I grab about two bells per week, um, but I do usually buy them in bigger bulks because I don't wanna go back to store all the time. Um, that's one of my biggest things because you gotta keep that cost down to make it effective, but also you don't want to harm the animals. I mean, obviously you're gonna feed them off to your, your pets, but you don't wanna mistreat them until that time comes. Two, the cleaner I use is chlorhexidine. I buy it by the gallon jug. Um, chlorhexidine, I buy this online on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link below. This right here does really good. This is last me forever, I've had this forever. I actually have another bottle I haven't opened up yet. Um, a capful, uh, I just put a capful in each, in each spray bottle and it lasts for a long time. Uh, but I probably use two capfuls, per, two to three capfuls uh, every time I wash, I mean I do my my rats. I use this also on my snakes. If, like in the summertime, the odor can kind of get kind of bad, I do use Lysol IBC. Um, but I use that sparingly because rats do have, um, um, can have respiratory problems, so you gotta be careful how much chemical you use. Um, but usually if they use the IBC, I spray it down, I take it outside and rinse it off with a hose and then bring it back in. Because um, they can be sensitive to too much chemical and it can actually kill them. Um, um, back to that, back to the uh, pine. I use lots of pine and that pine Seems to do the best. Um, it has very to little no dust at all, hardly any dust. Um, the sneezing has gone down a lot, and I don't have, I have the same amount of sneezing as I did with the aspen. I've had no crazy deaths or anything like that. And uh, with the the gym, it says right in the thing that it's kiln dried, and I actually talked to the company. It doesn't seem to work as good. Um, it seems like they were sneezing and having more. You know, I sneeze a lot. I didn't have no deaths, but I, I just. Notice that after I changed it, they sneezed a ton. When I use this stuff, they don't sneeze at all. Also, my daughter, that was my daughter. Um, thank you, Madison. Um, she decided to start all of our, any kind of like mail or junk mail, she's been shredding up and using it for bedding too. We add to the bedding just to, to, just to recycle it and use it over again. Um, works really good. Uh, she saves us some money too. I'm not trying to be a greedy corporate guy and I don't want to harm my rats, but I'm just trying different things out. Um, Cause that's what it is as a breeder. You're trying to keep your costs down. Rats can be expensive, especially if you buy um, high end food, which I have for a while. Um, not saying you can't make money, but the food's expensive. The bedding can be expensive. Depends on, you know, if you can find it. Cause before I found tractor supply, I was spending a lot more money on my bedding. Um, it cut it down to a quarter of the price. Pine pellets, if you can buy them in wintertime, um, I can't tell the difference between the the animal one or the one you get. Um, the ones you get for the wood stove, um, they suck up the urine just as well. So, to me, if you can keep your costs down and as much as you can without harming the animals, I think you're doing a good thing. And like I said, the rat food, um, some of you guys might disagree, but the nutrition is barely anything different. And if I, that's why I did a controlled um, test. If something I see something different, I see them having less babies. See them looking sick or unhealthy, I'll stop it right away. Um, that's why you're gonna try something with your rats or your different animals like this. Don't do it to all of them. Just do a controlled uh, um, test. That's what I'm doing now. And it worked out for a month, so I'm adding it to different ones. Now I'm up to 10, and if this works for another month, um, I'll probably add some more. And then you know I might eventually switch over. If it doesn't work, I'll go back to the Missouri. Um, it's not that I'm trying to be cheap, but I'm just trying to save money to, you know, to make more money to add to my reptile business. Um, that's the reason why I do rats is for my reptiles to save money. Um, because otherwise I, w I don't, I don't like killing rats. Um, I don't like taking care of rats, but, um, it's a great side business for my reptiles. Um, I make decent money, um, pretty good money. And also, um, I got to roll it back into my, 
reptile um, business and I don't have to take that money out of my own pocket. So it's, it's really a wonderful thing to happen. And if I can actually optimize that, I'll definitely do it. Um, but if I'm gonna hurt the animals doing it, I will not. And so here's just some of the things I've just kind of found um, that's really cut my cost down almost like 60%. If I hope you have a tractor supply where you live, but it, you might have some place else that's cl close, but um, I was buying all this stuff from a place called Co-op here in town. And I love Co-op and I love the people that work there, but it's, it's, it was almost double, triple sometime in cost. And I've been saving a lot more money here. And you know, that's what it is. I'm just trying to, I'm a, a reptile breeder trying to um, move on to being a full-time reptile breeder. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm trying to cut costs when I can, but not hurt the animals. Anyways, guys, if you don't mind uh, checking out some other videos, uh, also, if you wouldn't mind uh, hitting that subscribe button right there. I will be back on Wednesday with another video. Later.